Starting a website can feel like a big decision, especially when it comes to choosing the right hosting provider. Bluehost is one of the most popular options out there, but is it really the right choice for you? I've done some digging so you don't have to, and I'm here to give you the full scoop, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So let's dive in. So what makes Bluehost stand out exactly? Well, here are some features that really stood out to me. First off is a free domain. You get a domain free for the first year, which is a great bonus for anyone who is just starting out. And they have a one-click WordPress installation. This simplifies the setup process if you're installing WordPress, especially for beginners. You can have your site up and running in no time. And then a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. Your website stays online and accessible, which is crucial for any site. And then 24-7 support. Whether it's early morning or late at night, help is just a click or a call away. And then they have room to grow. You can start with their basic plan and then easily upgrade as your site grows. It's flexible and scalable. Now, let's go over the pros and cons because, as you know, nothing is perfect. So, let's talk about the good stuff first. The first thing is, it's super beginner friendly. The dashboard is clean and easy to navigate. They have affordable pricing, especially if you're just starting out. They also include a free SSL certificate, so your site is secure from day one. It's built with WordPress users in mind, so if you're going to be using WordPress, this is a great way to go. And then you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not happy. And now for the not-so-great stuff. The cons are, they push a lot of upsells during the checkout, which can feel a little bit overwhelming, and most of them you don't actually need. And then the renewal prices are higher than the intro rates, which is pretty common for hosting. And then their advanced users might find it lacking a little bit in the developer focus features section. So this is my personal experience with Bluehost. I've used Bluehost to host multiple websites over the years, and setting it up was incredibly easy with their one-click WordPress install. There's only one time I needed help setting up an SSL certificate, and I reached out to their support team, and they responded really quick and walked me through the whole process. The only downside I noticed was the renewal pricing. It was a bit higher than expected, but like I said, it's pretty common with hosting. But overall, the performance and reliability made it worth it. Now, some quick facts about Bluehost. You might have a few questions about Bluehost, so here's some answers. Now, can I transfer an existing website to Bluehost? Yes, you can. Bluehost offers a migration service to help you move your site without any hassle. Now, does Bluehost work well for an e-commerce site? Absolutely. Bluehost supports platforms like WooCommerce and provides the tools you need to set up an online store. And what happens if you want to cancel? Like I'd mentioned before, Bluehost has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it risk-free. And if you find that it's not right for you, you can just contact them through live chat, just say you need a refund, and they will hook you up right away. Now, let's talk about prices. Bluehost pricing options include the following plans. A basic plan, a choice plus plan, and an online store, and then also a cloud hosting plan. So the basic plan is perfect for single websites and it starts at $2.95 a month for their intro rate. And then the Choice Plus plan includes added privacy and security features and that starts at $5.45 per month. And then the online store plan is tailored for e-commerce sites with specialized tools starting at $9.95 a month. And they also have a cloud hosting plan that's more for high performance sites and it's ideal for growing your website. And now keep in mind though that these rates apply for your first term. When it's time to renew, they're going to increase. So locking in a longer term at the intro rate can save you money over time. And as I said before, Bluehost customer support is really good. So if you're wondering if I give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it's definitely a thumbs up for me. They're available 24-7 through live chat, phone, and email. And whenever I needed help, the response was always quick and the support agent knew exactly how to assist me. But I will say that, however, I've heard that during peak times, response times can actually vary. So just keep that in mind. And now who should use Bluehost? So here's the thing. Bluehost isn't for everyone, but I would say it's perfect for people who are either beginners. If you're new to building a website, Bluehost makes it really easy. Or if you're a small business owner, it's affordable and scalable so you can grow without breaking the bank. And then also bloggers. The WordPress integration is super seamless and really user-friendly. 
And sure, the upselling and renewal prices can be a bit annoying, but the overall value more than makes up for it. If Bluehost sounds like a good fit for you, check out the description for a discount link to save on your plan. So what do you guys think of Bluehost? Have you used it before? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And hey, if you found this review helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tips and reviews. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.